Come back, bitch. I just wanted to speak to you. Anyway, this is what we're working with. Oh, I got these Dimorphanons at level 329. Bred them up to 403. Cleaned them back to 368. Then pushed them back up to 388. I did keep the food for reasons you'll see. That's the stats on Pop. And that's the stats after imprinting. So in this video, I'll go through a few of the ways to use the Dimorphodon. We'll do a bit of PvP, we'll blow some things up, we'll track some people, and we'll build a trap with the Dimorphodons. So here's a favourite pastime. So Xbox has a couple designated skirmish servers. Not officially, but it's 111 and 238. So I just don a camo suit, like I use a green skeleton suit. Perch up on the cliff overlooking Blue Orb. And do a bit of falconry on the bobs running around beneath. So you want to spyglass them, whistle attack target, and then throw the Dimorphodon off your shoulder. Make sure it's following you, and if it doesn't get encumbered, it'll return home. You can just sit there watching Bob's be Bob's. If they own a structure nearby, the Dommorphodon will attack it, but they'll lose interest in that pretty quick. <laughs> He's put a towel up because someone's holed up in his little one by one. Let's find out if he put it on plays only. <laughs> That's a yes, but it's encumbered the Demorphodon in the turret range. That's the big problem with the Dimorphodons. They've got no weight, no matter how much you put on them. It's never enough. That's why I just got rid of it altogether. So this bob's gone out of render, but as long as something keeps it rendered in, the Dimorphodon, it'll kill them.
I'll get a double here. <laughs> and another one. It's a full speed dimorphid on this one. And it was following a reaper. That's why it went way over there. And a couple more bobs. These guys were chatting mad shit in chat. Anyway, the other ability of the dimorphodon is to act as like a automatic melee weapon. Like the melee equivalent to the shoulder cannon. <laughs> I'll just get these guys to come out of hiding. Taps of pull guns. The Dimorphodon are great shoulder mounts for Gen 2, but often people just have the Federation suits on. Not that this dude only had that on, but he still gets his comeuppance. And that's another problem with the weight of the Dimorphodon. It's sitting in play only turrets. So they were attacking this temporary TP we put down. So I just threw a Dimorphodon onto the TP and sent that in before I come in. I do that to just act as a distraction. So you don't get shot up on the TP. But in this case the Dimorphodon fucked up the Wyvern Rider. People forget that the Dimorphodon doesn't attack the tame if you're on it. They strip you off the tame. Another example of that, I was out just hunting gas bags and this bob walked up on me. Unfortunately it doesn't work very well versus Stego riders though because their Stego armour transfers over onto the rider. Whee! 
A Giga will, of course, one tap them, though. Of course he's on neutral. Okay, let's go blow some things up. So the Dimorphodon is one of the few things that still work with the balloon bombing. And even then it doesn't always work. The only thing that always works is the Pelovia. But the Pelovia takes more than one person. So a C4 Dimorphodon thrown down on top of a balloon. Insert your coordinates and write it in. So we've covered balloon bombing before in a previous video, but in that video I used baby dinosaurs and you can't use those anymore. <laughs> I call these balloon sorties, they're so retarded, but they are fun. So this is about the fourth or fifth time we've attacked this target. So they are likely expecting us. In this run we've got firstly a Plovia, followed by a Dimorphodon, and then two Plovias coming in the rear. Now the reason for that is we need to clear two hatch frames. To clear the path for the two back Pelovias to get down onto their fridges and teleporter. So the first buried Pelovia will lay across the two hatch frames. Then the Dimorphodon will come in, the balloon will pop, and the turrets will trigger the C4. Clearing the way for the next two to come in. <laughs> they were waiting for it though, so the Wyvern's on us. The first Pelovia made it down. Just waiting on the Dimorphodon now. And the fucking can't see me. And that's the Dimorphodon coming in. So it triggered its C4 as well as the Plovia C4. And has opened up the gap. Unfortunately, that's the third balloon got intercepted. But there's one more coming in. Now that balloon also got intercepted by a tech rifle, but he didn't hit the Plovia, so the Plovia fell straight down and detonated straight over the fridges and the teleporter. Since it was set to aggressive, it jumped out once it got in vicinity of him and the Taurus detonated the C4. And that's the damage from that last Pelovia. So the Dimorphodon in this case, while it did carry C4, was mainly used as a trigger to detonate the first Pelovia, so it didn't have to use the detonator, which would have detonated all the C4 on the following Pelovias as well. That's the actual target, the generator box. But unfortunately that uh, third Pelovia didn't make it through. And this is another example of a Dimorphodon getting through. 
This is a fob on our server with a crop plot extension at the top. I'd blown this bit the day prior but they rebuilt it. I can't remember how much C4 it is for a tech crop plot, but it's more than two. Anyway, I was able to recruit some help with a skiff, so we got a plovia onto the balloon this time. <laughs> and they'd seen what's going on, so they'd put all the targets on players only, so the dimorphons weren't triggering straight away. But it just means I have to manually detonate this one. Anyway, let's show a different tactic with the Dimorphodon. <coughs> you can use them to track people without them knowing. So with the Dimorphodon on your shoulder, whistle attack target and release it. Now as long as you keep that Dimorphodon in render, it'll keep tracking it. No matter how far away it gets, or how long it takes. So you can stay well out of render of them, so they don't know you're following them. So you can use that technique to find points of interest, be it boats, be it bases, be it quetzals. <coughs> Another use I have for the Dimorphodons is sentries. So they'll lay guard over a place that doesn't have turrets and attack anything that comes nearby. If they do get the kill will, crisis averted, but if they die they also tell you that someone's up there. Using the tracker lets me know if any have moved. And that's one reason I left the food stat on the Dimorphodon. And the other reason for the food stat is because I leave them to guard PvE. Here they're just protecting our strider. They deal plenty of DPS and they don't obstruct its movement. You can combine them with the Featherlight Fabrication, but with these stats it's not really necessary. Anyway, this video is going to go forever if I don't make this trap already, so here we go. This is the first trap I put up on the official service. So the theory is, once anything outside is damaged, that dodo walks through the IED, triggering the IED, setting off the C4, blowing the wall out, and releasing the Dormorphodons on whoever damaged anything outside. And another thing to tangle them up, there's a load of bear traps underneath that wood floor. Not only that, but there's large bear traps underneath all the stone foundations to catch whatever tame they come in on. Anyway, here's the log of the next day. So that's the dodo tripping the C4 and blowing all the stone structures out. So we caught a... what's that? 164 
level 164 flying a 436 Lightning Wyvern. And then he come back on a Shadow Main and killed them all. Anyway, since I'm not online, when these go off, I'll just recreate it. So the Wyvern trips a large bear trap, throws him off, and he gets caught in the small bear trap. Now, as soon as he damaged something trying to free himself, the Dodo trips the C4, releases the aggressive Dumorphodons, and they take him and the Wyvern out. And this is what remains of the official trap. I put trackers on the Dumorphodons, and sometimes they bug out and they don't attach properly. That's what you see there. Anyway, I thought I could improve that and at least give the Dimorphodons a fighting chance. So I built it again, this time in metal. And this time with a much larger capture platform with the large bear traps underneath the foundation. Another difference, I'm going to use a low level wolf that'll still die to the C4, but I can whistle the Dimorphodons onto it. And then set the Domorphanons to wander. So aggressive, follow distance highest, and wandering. Now the effect that'll have was because they're following the wolf, they'll stay still until that wolf dies and then they'll start wandering. And they'll be able to disperse. So they're not just sitting in one spot and waiting to be killed again. And I'll fit them all with trackers so I can find them if they survive. And once they're all stable, wire the IED up. And she's good to go again. Anyway, later I noticed this trap had tripped off. And you can see all the dumb orphanons have been released and are aggressive and wandering. So, some bob on an Argentave has tripped it off. <laughs> That's obviously the one that got the kill. And it's a fairly good kit for a bob. Anyway, I did set it again, exact same configuration, and the exact same spot. And this time it's Anthony got his comeuppance on a lightning wyvern. And then the wandering Dimorphodon's been killing some bobs. Surprisingly, they didn't come back to kill this one. And a decent kit for a bob like me. And now I've got to track down all these bloody Dumorphodons. I just leave them all to wander, let them live out their life. The more expendable the Dumorphodons are, the more fun they are, so I don't expect them to come home. Anyway, here's a giveaway. Who wants some free Dimorphodons? Official Xbox servers. PvP.
the coordinates are in the top left. So you can have a pelovia full of dumb morphodons. Um, you might as well have the synomicrops are coming on too. There is at least one top stat one in here, it's a 388. But the others are all pretty good as well. None of them are leveled up, but they have at least 50, 60 levels to put in them. So you know what coordinates they're at, but the catch is I'm not going to tell you what server they're on. I'll write in the description once they've been found though, so you're not on a wild goose chase to nothing. Anyway, this has been a pain in the ass video to make. There's literally hundreds of videos over the last few months to sort through. Hopefully that's earned your subscription. I try to make two videos every week. Sometimes that doesn't work out well. Oh, go check out my other channel as well. I try to make a video there every like week as well. Just don't hold me to it. <laughs>